All right, what is up, Market Watch? Remember, this Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 Chicago Time or Central, and at 6 p.m. Cali Time, this bad boy is going to go up for sale. So, of course, if you're interested in picking up one of these, I will, of course, be linking that on the community feed when it does go up for those of you that are excited to get that release. Now, let's dig on in to that thing that we all know and love called Market Watch. So a lot of you guys have been requesting Ultimate Rares. I, I actually went through and read a majority of the comments for today's Market Watch when constructing it. Um, a majority of the Ultimates we're going to put on the side. I'm going to do an Ultimate Market Watch at some point if, if we get enough likes on this Market Watch. If you guys want that, of course, always like this video, communicate that with me. You know, I do read my comment section, so I think that would be a very good thing for you guys to communicate that with me. And I, I think that... We can definitely, I think that'd be a fun little market watch to do. I mean, we've done a hero market watch once or twice, so, you know, <laughs> let's do market watch every day this week. Fuck it. So, Millennium Dice. I was requested to kind of go through and kind of talk about the dice right now. Well, most of the, these, I think these dice are tacky. That's, that's just my opinion. But right now, official sets, there's one set you can buy right now for basically 270 shipped to your front door. Outside of that, it's it's about 35 a dice, realistically. Um, some of these other ones, the more expensive ones, no, 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 no. Don't don't waste your money. It, it's not worth it. Um, and then, of course, the attribute dice. Um, you guys need to understand that there are fakes on the market now of these. Um, I've read a little bit into it. I'm just saying, obviously, approach this with extreme caution because there are fake ones out there now but the divine ones coming in at about 45 to 50 dollars still and they're only going up at this point like it doesn't really shock me like lowest available for divine is 45 and then of course the judge one down here looking like 40 bucks kind of depending on where you're getting it from man there's a lot of divine still on the market but I mean, Divine's only being removed over time. So those are the, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! dice. Now, Infinity cards. I was told... Uh, we're going to go pretty in-depth with this, actually. This is probably a lot more than a lot of you guys want to hear about what's kind of going on right now, but Infinity S cards... Ugh, so much here. So currently, Infinity Archfiend himself, the, the big bad guy... The one that you kind of need to make everything go around. Lowest light play at the moment is $3, but do keep in mind that we are only going up at this point. Um, I, I think that was definitely something to kind of just pay a little bit of attention to. Is Yeah, Infinity cards in general are going up too. Next up, we have the old Infinity Barrier. A barrier is another interesting one that, once again, an old first edition card kind of climbing its way up here. But uh, lowest not first ed is three forty seven currently. Oh God! Like I, I saw some lower quantities here. Uh, first ed light play six seventy one. I love when the card value just almost doubles for no fucking real reason. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. TCG players being horribly slow tonight too. Uh, 773 right now for those first editions. Ah, yes. Infernity Mirage. Oh, man. Ugh. Crimpled up edition, like, four bucks. Light plays at seven. Man, why are Infernity cards just now going up? Like, I never... I, I get the hype, but it's like, but why, though? Um, let's see here. First ed's at nine dollars. <laughs> uh, Infernity Beetle Man. Oh, man. Uh, well, first did bent in half is a dollar fifty. Uh, light plays you just seen there were a dollar piece, but <sighs> why? Why are these cards going up? Somebody want to explain that to me? Like two bucks for a rare for first edition? What the hell? And then Infinity Necromancers over here coming in at the fresh four dollar mark for light play, four thirty five for near mint. Uh, Necklace of the Meme Dream. Hello, Ulti Necklace of Command. Is this the, the market watch where I gotta give Akino crap because he missed one? 
I don't think there's going to be any first dead near mints on the market. Like, just kind of how it's been for this card for the last couple of these. Nope, no first editions on the market. Every time. Uh, Luna Light cards. Huh, Panther Dancers just tanking in value. That's good. For those of you that wanted to build Luna Lights, that's, that's very helpful. Actually, the rest... Actually, this is kind of sad. This is the most expensive card in the Luna Light core, and then the rest is just, like... Kind of 25 to 50 cents. Like, you kind of just pick your poison with this. Yeah, Luna Lights are still pretty cheap. Wow. Somebody bought out the $400 Cyber Harpies. These things are now $2,000 for Near Mint. What the balls? Alright. Feather dusters are also twelve hundred dollars. Are you are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well whatever. Harpy Queens still going up. Harpy cards make me disgusted, man. Like I had I have one of these from a hundred years ago. And it's so dumb. Retro pack one. Uh, Gene Warped Warwolf Guy. Why Why do these keep going up? F first edition's 8 bucks. That's $8 more than an ultimate should ever be, actually. Uh, totally Awesome is not totally awesome right now. What the hell? Why is this card 7 Why is this card been $7 for a while? Okay. Uh, Vampire Suckers. Well, it looks like we finally have reached the $16 mark. Ooh, uh, Vampire Fraulein. Oh, hello. Well, lowest available is, of course, five bucks. Uh, these tanked it down. That's what I like to see. I dumped all mine at fours. No regrets. Ghost for Gorge is still a four dollar card. This is one of those cards that, like, I don't want to, like, see it get bought out, but it god damn it scores like if any card in the game has the potential just to get removed from the secondary market it's this guy so interesting i kind of made sure i'd have some of these i don't know why um bubble mans are 522 dollars 98 cents for the metals i mean at least they're on the market now why are all copies of bubble mans so up there like i never got that all right well Whatever market you you know best. Bob or Moki Mokis are at three bucks. Six Samurai cards. Hmm, I mean, fourteen bucks isn't terrible. Uh, huh, these are also still holding line at like eight fifty. Fumas still at five fifty five. Yeah, nothing else too special moving back here. Uh, TG esque named cards. Well, Rush Rhino price cards are six bucks. Um. Buster Cannon's still eight bucks. Warwolf is a dollar. <laughs> Hyper Librarians are also like four bucks. What the hell is happening back here? Um, Ultra Geist cards. The main deck core itself is still cheap. Still doesn't answer your problem of needing impermanence, but you know, budget players can get around that very easily. Yeah, Ultra Geist still very cheap. Like, especially the fucking multi fakers. Good job. Uh, Treeborn Frogger Frogaroo over here. Oh man, Ugh, Alties. I like Alties, but like DRO four though. DRO four lowest right now is thirteen dollars. Poor Treeborn, I miss you, buddy. Uh, somebody told me Super Rejuvenation was bought out. I definitely could see this happening. Like a lot of mod plays. Yeah, I didn't get totally wiped out, but like, hot diggity damn, like, still like three bucks a copy. That's scary. Uh, Yazis. Huh. Well, I mean, six dollars on the ultimate. Six to seven. Yeah, all copies of Yazi look like they're kind of creeping up. Low key. Huh. Uh, Construct. And should all cards in general. I don't care about you, Construct, today. I look at you every week. Ten bucks on uh, Noatellus. Honestly, outside of Construct, like the deck's not too bad. I mean, Sheck's kind of creeping up, but I mean, that's to be expected. Um, Dark Lord cards, two hundred dollars for Super Rare Prize card. Um, three bucks. Nasties are two seventy-five. 
Asthma Duke's about to be two bucks. That's kind of interesting. I never thought I would see Asthma Duke going up. Uh, Bingo Machine, go, 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 fuck yourself is $30. That's more money than it ever needs to be, honestly. Uh, Orbitals at 17 bucks. Ugh. <laughs> Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon himself is at nine bucks. Chaos Max is at three seventy four. Solid Dragons solid four dollars. I just came here to make that pun. Positive Quivenous. Card's actually a dollar. Okay. Ultimate Bone Crusher. I was somebody on YouTube wanted me to check this. So as soon as we weigh through the slow wait time, that is TCG player. Uh, two bucks. There's not a lot of these on the market actually. That's not necessarily a good thing. It just means that people have been buying them out. Yeah, no first. Yeah, four bucks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my Akashi, everything is literally a dollar seventy. It looks. <laughs> everything literally is like a dollar. Eh, if you want to pick up my Akashi, they're looking pretty cheap actually. Um, Ultimate Herald cards. Um, I mean, kind of where they've been. <laughs> not much to really say here. Um, injection for lilies. I can't believe I'm about to look at first editions of these again. Alright, come here first. What's a man got to do to get a first dead lily in here? Spend $50. Yikes. Ancient gear stuff? No. Go away. You're too much. Uh, fusions are 35 I mean, ugh. A little pound. I love how pound was so much money. Fortresses are fives. Castles are f probably more than four. Oh, God, Dekoichi. Look, and this is PTSD for me. I really hate this card. Alright, Dekoichi near mint is. Doo -doo -doo -doo, 25 bucks. Wow. And last but not least. Bot of Greed allows me to draw multiple cards from my deck. Should totally be banned, right? We're here for first edition only. So many unlimbs. Wow, these these are creeping up. Like that's a lot. First edition is thirty nine dollars. Wow. Alright, well that's all I got from Mark Watch today, guys. Please, stay fresh. We'll have some discussions up later for you guys today. Peace out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.